In 2015, Pioneer DJ released the DJM S9 two-channel scratch-style DJ mixer. It standardized the use of 16 performance pads, a Magval Fader Pro Crossfader, hardware effects, and two effects lever toggles in a single battle mixer design for the professional Serato DJ software user. Two years later, in 2017, Pioneer DJ released the DJM S3 as the entry-level option for DJs who are just starting out getting into scratching, turntablism, or open format DJing. It had all the fundamental features of a mixer, including Serato DJ connectivity, but did not retain the effects or the performance pads that the DJM S9 was known for. But today, the DJs who are just beginning their journey can now experience some of these professional features found on the DJM S11 and DJM S7 on a mixer at a more affordable price. Hello everyone, I'm Priyon Joni from Pioneer DJ, and I'm here to show you the brand new DJM S5 two-channel scratch mixer for Serato DJ Pro. The S5 is a scratch-focused design with a beginner DJ in mind, but also has all the professional features you need to take to a gig. It has a red gloss top plate finish reminiscent of some classic and extremely rare battle mixers. The lightweight design has two easy to hold grips on each side, making the S5 easy to position and take to any gig. The width of the S5 brings the turntables closer together, but the length also perfectly matches the turntables when they are rotated in standard orientation as well. For the first time ever on a Pioneer DJ mixer, the DJM S5 is bus powered from your laptop using a USB Type-C port. That means your mixer won't need an additional cable for power. But if you wish to power your mixer independently from your laptop, there is a second USB Type-C port dedicated to power only, which you can connect to an external power supply. Also, for the first time on any battle mixer, you can even power the DJM S5 from an external battery bank, making it possible to DJ even with analog sources or devices such as tablets or phones without the need for an external power source. While the previous DJM S3 featured a Magval fader, the DJM S5 now has the latest Magval Fader Pro Crossfader, just like what is found on the professional units like the DJM S11 and DJM S7. It features a smooth crossfader tailored for the scratch DJ, which include the feeling adjust knob to fine tune the tension. This is now the most affordable mixer to feature the Magval Fader Pro. And unique to the S5, the front of the mixer features a window to show the internal structure of the Magvel Fader Pro. You can actually see the gear spin when you turn the feeling adjust knob. The trim, EQ, and filter sections are in their familiar positions with the filter and trim on the outside for easy separation without looking. In the middle is a single browse knob with two load buttons dedicated to each channel for easy keyboard-free loading of tracks. Also for the first time on a Pioneer DJ mixer at this price point, the S5 features an effects section with the large effects levers per channel that allow you to apply and layer up to three Serato effects per deck. You can now do momentary as well as lock triggering of the effects while controlling the intensity with a single level depth knob. Along with the effects, there's a new feature called Scratch Cutter. It's similar to the Tracking Scratch pad mode found on the DDJ Rev1, except this time, it works with timecode records in DVS. Scratch Cutter reproduces the sounds of the crossfader movement necessary for a scratch performance. To go into Scratch Cutter mode, simply hold any of the six effects cut buttons until the other five go dark. Each effects cut button represents a different scratch cut pattern of scratching. These are the patterns as follows starting from left to right. Forward Scratch. Military Scratch. Original Scratch. Transformer Scratch. One Click Flare. Two Click Flare. Holding down the shift button and clicking the effects cut buttons also allow you to toggle other functions, including your crossfader curve, crossfader reverse, effects banks, and a function called crossfader hot cue. Now, crossfader hot cue is a feature similar to fader start. The way it works is, with the DVS signal playing, the crossfader can be used to fire off the last hot cue that was triggered. This gives DJs one hand capability 
to both engage the channel and play the track from a cue point during a mix. You can also use it to execute a variety of different creative tricks you can't do on any other mixer. The DJM S5 is also the first Pioneer DJ Battle Mixer at this price point to feature performance pads. While each only have four pads, you can access all eight pads by using the pad five to eight buttons. Just like on the DJM S11 and DJM S7, you have access to a total of 12 performance pad modes and four user modes. Over to the rear of the mixer is our input and outputs. Each channel has one pair of RCA inputs, which are switchable between phono and line, which lets you set it for either turntables or CDJs. There is an RCA auxiliary input that allows you to plug in any line level device to the S5. There's also a balanced XLR TRS combo microphone input, giving you options for microphone plug types. There's a pair of balanced XLR master outputs along with RCA outputs for the booth. The booth output can be useful not only for booth monitors, but also to use for an audio output for streaming externally. You can also switch the booth output to master if you wish to use it to control the RCA output with the master volume knob. On the front, we already talked about the Magvel Fader Pro's window opening. To the left of that is our microphone and auxiliary level controls. To the right is the dual headphone output, one quarter inch and the other eighth inch, so DJs don't have to worry about forgetting their headphone adapter. Streaming from the same computer you're DJing on is made easier on the DJM S5. You can broadcast from the same laptop Serato is on without the need for a virtual audio cable. To do this, you simply go into your Serato settings. Under the audio tab, click the checkbox, make audio available to other applications. Now in your broadcast software like OBS, you can access the output audio simply by selecting it as a source. As you can see, the DJM S5 is a combination of professional as well as beginner friendly features in a compact two channel mixer for the aspiring turntablist and open format DJ. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it in a comment below. If you want to find out more about the DJM S5 or see more products from Pioneer DJ, be sure to visit us on our website, pioneerdj.com, or catch us on one of our social media channels at Pioneer DJ USA. Thanks for watching.